Welcome back to our channel. For this week's video, I'm going to show you how to design and print barcodes on the PTD 400 label maker. Now, before we get started, I want you to keep in mind that the brother recommends that you use a black on white label tape. So you're going to want to grab um, a label that's as big as you can get it. So three quarters of an inch and that's black on white. So a TZE 241 tape is going to be your best friend on this. Um, and if not, I would recommend the half inch, the TZE 231, if you're not able to get your hands on that wider. That's going to give your barcode reader the best chance at reading this successfully and having an easy printing process. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is to start for barcode printing. Um, you are going to want a half inch or a three quarters of an inch black on white tape when you do this. Ideally, you're going to want three quarters of an inch, okay? You can use a half an inch. However, if you are noticing that your um, scanner isn't picking up on it, strongly recommend going to a three quarters of an inch. That's what Brother recommends you use. Please note for this example, I will have a half inch label. That's only because that's what I have in my house right now. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm not using an actual scanner. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Um, you, on the other hand, obviously if you're doing this, you likely are using a scanner. So I would recommend going to that three quarter inch. Okay. So for the barcodes, you're gonna want a black on white tape and a couple of warnings before we get started. If you are using the continuous print feature to print numerous barcodes, say you're going to put the same barcode on 50 jars of jam, please be careful because you can overheat this print head in here and that will shut down your machine because, you know, the barcodes are so in depth when printing. Okay, so let's get started. So, first things first, we are going to make sure you can see my buttons and my screen. You're going to hit barcode. Okay. You'll notice you have a lot of different protocols to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and include a chart um, right here, but please note you have access to this chart in your user manual and you can also download a copy from our website. Moving on, for width, you will notice you have the option of small or large. Do not use small width, use large width. I'm telling you now, you're going to want large width. I don't know why small is an option, don't use it. And then num under number, if I'm just leaving that on, and C digit. You'll notice this C digit is an option here. This is only an option, I believe, for code 39. And then one other one, um, is it 1 dash or 1 dash 2 slash 5, something similar to that. I'll uh, put a little banner right here of the other option for that C digit code. But I'm going to use code 39. It's pretty common with a large width, okay? We're going to hit OK. So that's what I have. Now, I'm going to say, let's say I have a flower, flowers and I'm going to make my code roses because I'm putting this on all my roses. I know it's probably not the right code, but this is what I'm using. You can do it, obviously, whatever you want, okay? So here's mine. I'm going to hit OK. So now you'll notice you've got a little barcode right here. So let's go ahead and hit print. And you'll see you have a barcode. Again, this isn't a half inch size. I would recommend going to that three quarters of an inch size, but you have roses. Okay, now let's say you wanted to edit the parameters of this label, of that barcode. You, let's say you accidentally printed it with a small, small width or something like that. We're gonna take our cursor and move it directly under that. Did you see that? It's very subtle. Did you see that movement? Great. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and hit barcode and you can edit within, large or small, under or over, and then hit okay. That brought you back here, and you're all set, you can print again, that will be edited. Or, let's say your cursor's still there, you wanna delete the roses and you were gonna move on, move that cursor to the right, so now it's to the right, and just simply hit backspace. Now we can hit barcode again, and now we can start a new one. So let's say we're gonna do code 39. Now, some of the protocols have the ability to put a symbol in here. 
um, not all of them. Again, I will put a little banner right here that includes the protocols that will allow you to put symbols in. Um, you can have a copy of this in your user manual as well as on our website, so roses. And now all I would do is hit symbol. And we've got space, period, a dash, a plus sign. Um, let's say we'll go plus, okay? And then let's say roses plus greens. So that's what I want, okay? So we're going to hit print. Now you've got a barcode for roses plus greens and note you've got that symbol now in the center there compared to before. Okay, now you have a special character list for code 39, for code bar, code 128, so on and so forth. I'll include that list here so you can kind of get an idea. You can always pause this video to view it. If not, again, user manual on our website, you've got it all. So don't panic if you don't see it in the three seconds that's on the screen. Now I know that was a quick little video here, but it's actually pretty simple to use. Um, I'll do another one here. Um, I'll use, can you see that? The EAN-8. And we'll just kind of go ahead and put some numbers there. And then now you've got that barcode and we'll print. Just so you can kind of see what a different barcode would be. Um, the machine itself is pretty easy to use. I think that's what you're traditionally used to seeing in like a grocery store um, or something like that. I don't think the hard part of the barcodes is going to be formatting of barcode on this label maker. It's going to be deciding what works best for you and what your project is. And then again, what kind of barcode scanner you have at home or at work to use. And it's as easy as that. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.